So, as far as an arranger goes, you, you seem to have taken songs that seem pretty, can be mundane, and really turn them into your own, to the point where people actually thought they were your songs. Uh, just let's talk about a few of the songs that, that you really feel that you just changed dramatically and made your own. Well, I don't think there's any I would ever think I did made them better. But um, I have a recording that I really love the recording that this Disney made. The original recording and then Don um, Don's recording uh, of the Electrical Parade. But I also like my own recording of the Electrical Parade. In fact, I play it in the car quite frequently <laughs> because I like it so much. Nobody likes his own music more than me. I don't... I, it's not because it's wonderful. It's just because I like it. I, um, but... It's not that it's by any by any stretch of the imagination better. It's just my recording in Electrical Parade has a couple extra pieces in it. Like there's this line. Some some um, some extra pieces of music that I felt. I like it so much. I wanted to add to it. And there's a few things I say in there like, don't be so serious. And, and uh, you could take a trip with me, but you might end up being a tree. <laughs> a few words and stick close to your desk and never go to see you. Oh, maybe the ruler or the Queen's Navy. Which might illustrate that I loved Gilbert and Sullivan. Or that I like, oh, and I say, golly, Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Love the Wizard of Oz. Well, you know, I had a lot of influences, and when you said I was a ranger, one of the things, I wonder who else was influenced by Percy Faith. Percy Faith, when I was a teenager, was making albums. He made an album of spirituals, he made an album of this, he made an album of that, he made a whole bunch of them, and I bought all of them, and I really loved what he did. He made these beautiful orchestral arrangements, in my mind, at that time. And I'd say that he had a great deal of effect on how I orchestrate things. And I've always felt I have a natural flair for orchestration. It's just, and it's probably why, since I wasn't going to get an orchestra to orchestrate what I had in my head, I, had a, I wanted to have my own orchestra, my own one-man orchestra, because I was a little deluded, <laughs> and probably still am, uh, to play orchestral orchestral. Um, arrangements of stuff. I have a, there's a, anyway, out there somewhere there's a, I've been, I've had some wonderful influences. Gee, when I think of Walter Carlos, and when I think of the Beatles, and, but of course the Moody Blues is my strongest influence. Somebody asked me if I could play Out and In, you know. Mm -hmm. 